Hey guys, so recently I have not been making a lot of videos. I did film, but I just never had the chance to edit or upload it. So here I'm coming for a haul, and recently I've been into like the planner community, the card making community, and then for a short period of time scrapbooking, but I don't think it's really my thing. So it's more of like card making and planners, and they're pretty similar. Not really actually, but some things they use are pretty similar, but the difference is just that the application is different. So yeah. I'm just going to start off with scrapbooking stuff. I just got some monochrome color paper. It's not really cardstock. Um, because my, this little like neighborhood scrapbook store that is kind of closed down, they're having a sale and they don't have sale. It's just a really like home kind of scrapbook store. It's not like organization or anything. But it's closing down soon so I did grab a few things. And this is a journaling set. I really regretted getting this. Um, basically it has two memo pads, um, it has two sticky notes, uh, two die cut stack, uh, one mini memo pad, and yeah, that's it. I thought this was cute, but it was very expensive and really not worth my money, but never mind. <laughs> Next I got this core tag. I have the bigger size one, it's a small one. I got the bigger one and I thought I'd get a smaller size because I'm running out the bigger one. And there's the core color, there's 25 in it, and this is the um, sizing. And this one doesn't come with twine. The one I had actually come with like the twine. Next, I got this Versa, Mar Versa Magic, and this is like um, a chalk ink, and I thought it was really pretty. I actually have the Seabreeze, so it's either for trade or for sale, just PM or something like that. And it's really nice, and this is called the Pre Pastel. Next, I got some embossing powder. Um, I didn't really like the ones I got. I did play around with them. Um, it was like so so. This doesn't really have a brand. Again, I said this is like a really homemade store kind of thing. Not homemade store. A really like family run kind of thing. It's not an organization or anything. So they call this Stardust, and it's just a really glittery, clear. Um, embossing powder. The next one I purchased is this detailed gold, but it doesn't come out really, really sharp or really nice. It's pretty dull. I'm not really happy with this. It's like okay color, but yeah. So I got these two bottles, and that's actually all I got from the store. But I don't know the store was closing down. I think so. She got. She gave me a lot of extras and I love it so much. I probably love it more than like the ones I got. Anyway, so she gave me first was this. I don't know why that was blue. Basically, it's another gold, but it seems more coppery to me. So there's this. These are like smaller bottles, but it's still okay because it's still quite a bit. Actually, this one is actually of like the bigger bottles. And this is called the Rainbow Crystal Embossing and Instead of like clear glitter, uh, clear glitter, this one is in colored glitters, and I don't know if you can see. Yeah. Next is called Tiger Eyes, and I tried this out, and it's so pretty. It's like a mixture of this brown, black, and green. It gives like a bit of like the camouflage kind of color, and I'll kind of try use it or show it sometime later, and it's really pretty. I like the combination, especially when it melts and it's not fully mixed together and it's like patches a little color, it's really pretty. And then I'm gonna save my favorite for last, and she also gave me this, which I actually intended on buying but I didn't. It's not the color that I wanted, but it's this brand kinda. And this is called, I have no idea how you read this brand, but it's in this like mustardy color and this. <laughs> Then she also gave me one of this one, which is a more of like a, it's called terracotta tapestry, which is, it's like a really mud brick red. I thought it was really fun to try and it's quite, it's quite a mixture of colors. This final one is so pretty, I wish I actually got them this color, bought this color rather than her giving it to me because it's a smaller bottle compared to some of them. I don't know if you can see. But this is called the Twilight Embossing. And I don't even know if you can see from this, but it's already so pretty. It's like a really 
it's a really galaxy kind of color. It has blue, purple, and then it's like very dark, and it's just so pretty. And yeah, and two bottles of glow glitter, which I may or may not use because I'm not that huge into glitter, but these are just cool. There are two colors, which is this one of like a glittery black, white, gray kind of thing. And this one is a really orange, glittery, colorful one. So yeah, seems fun. So now going on to my scrapbooking stuff. Um, I'll start off with this little thing, which is not fully scrapbooking. It's more of like an office supply stationery kind of thing. And it's office tabs. It's super nice. I love it. It's not very expensive, but it's of really high quality. It's just a tab and it's, how do you say, it's plastic film. So it's really sturdy. It's really of quality. And it's like that, and I love it. I really, really do. You can use it for your binder, for your filing, for a binder, or you can use it as like a little index or something like that. It's just really cute. And there are four colors, although the other two is not really fun colors. The fun one is actually just this lime green and this really hot pink. The, red, the other ones I think is just this orange and also another red, which is not as fun. And I got them so like three packets, although I probably never finish it or don't even need three packets. Next, I got this overpriced laser like label paper, which has like I think there are twenty sheets of A4 in here, and it's so overpriced. I this is so this is, like outrageously priced. I don't even know why I bought it, um, but yeah. <sighs> but anyways, I was intending to print out stickers that I can cut out, but. I don't know, we'll see. Next I got is this to-do list, which I got actually several months back. Um, I got it with my $10 voucher, so this becomes really inexpensive. It's a Kiki K. It actually has two designs, so one is this, and the other one is just the same thing, but like you swap around the colors. And it comes with a little like smoky gray pen. It's actually not full black, and I don't know if you can see, maybe my pen is a little faulty or a little too watery, but I think it's really soft, a really soft color, and I thought that was pretty nice because that's black, and that's like a gray kind of color. So yep, got that. Next is something more kawaii, more fun. I have this Panda Panda Live Schedule Seal, and I thought these schedule ones. Oh, I've jumped into the planner one. I, um, I've jumped into the planner stuff already. Yeah, so just so you can use this for your planner. <laughs> And basically, you put these bubbles over like important dates to remind yourself, to indicate yourself, indicate to yourself, and then the long ones for a longer period of time. And you can actually cut them down to like two days, or this is actually for I think three days or something like that. And you use it for something like that. And it's really cute and really colorful, and I really like it. Here's the whole sheet. Super adorable. Next, I have this similar thing which I got like a year or two ago, but I just thought I would show you guys. This is Sentimental Circus one. It's of the same purpose, same use, but it's of Sentimental Circus. <laughs> and I thought it was really nice. And I didn't realize that this was actually for planners until recently. Next, I'll show you guys this Product Life mini little kit, and this is in the Daydreamer. In the Daydreamer edition, is a mini kit. And I think it's a crossover with your Lizzie. Lizzie, right? Oh no, it's not Lizzie. Liggy? I have no idea, I'm sorry. And this kit contains 10 big, like the larger title cards, 10 of the larger journaling cards, and 80 of the like small journaling cards, although there are only 40 designs. And I really like this Daydreamer edition, although I really want the Inspire one as well, but they didn't have it in the store. And it's a bit like this. I already opened it. I don't want to open the blood journey cards yet, but the small ones are just adorable. And I don't do Project Life, and I thought I was actually intending on using this on my planner. Like, they're really cute, colorful, sometimes inspiring little quotes that really would help to brighten up your planner or like cheer up or just little sentiments it's just really cute i don't know if you guys could see anything or not but yeah i thought that was just so cute 
And since I don't do Project Life, I didn't see the need to buy like the large ones, like the full kit, the core kits. So yeah, it's just really colorful and I love it. And I thought it suited, like the color scheme suited me a lot. So yeah, it's like dreams to come true if we only wish hard enough. Yeah, it's really cute. And at the back, it's all like journaling. You can like write down stuff, what happened. Or you can use it like as a to-do list. <laughs> Whatever you want since it's just essentially cardstock if you're not using it for Project Life. Next I have is this mask and it's just washi tape and I came from Hong Kong. I love washi tape, um, although I don't have a lot. Um, I might be doing an international trade thingy soon. <laughs> trade thingy soon. And this is, oops, this is a name mask brand. I'm gonna start with this one. This is um, the sushi collection. This is called sushi. And this is 7mm to 7 meters and 7 meters. Um, this is actually thinner than usual. This is like the usual thickness they have. And this one is the I mean width, sorry. This is a usual width and this is like thinner width. And I didn't see this before. This is actually like your normal width, uh, normal tape size and it just has sushi printed on it and that was just so cute. And I'm going to Japan this June, so yeah. <laughs> FYI. And then I have this which is like a merry go round, a very circus, pastel y themed thing, and I thought it was really pretty. Really pretty. <laughs> so I got these two. And Singapore isn't really huge on washi tape, and I really want some nice MT brand ones, but I couldn't find one that I like. Next, onto a planner. Well, so this part, there isn't really much, it's just me ranting about this planner that I got, what features it had, but I kind of sold this planner away because I didn't really love this planner, it wasn't something that suited me, so yeah, but I can guarantee you, like 100%, I will be getting a new planner, be that be like Webster, or Tokidoki, or TK, I will be getting a planner, so you guys can stay tuned and wait for a planner video, so... Yeah, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry for being a really long haul. I've missed you guys so much and see you next time.